welcome back to my channel Danny here with pharmacy and makeup I'm back with another comparison video in today's video I'm actually comparing two foundations from the same brand called Vichy one is uh, Vichy Derma Blend and the other one is Derma Blend 3d correction so they have similar packaging and to be honest when I was purchasing them I was kind of confused with the difference um, I wasn't sure which one would be right for my skin type so because of that I decided to do this comparison video since I have them both so I'm going to do a full review analyzing ingredients the claims and the way they perform on the skin so you can see exactly in what ways they are different now before we continue with the review uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel it helps my channel grow and it helps me a lot it would mean the world to me if of course if this content is is interesting to you um, I am a pharmacy specializing in cosmetology and I make these fun informative videos regarding cosmetics and uh, makeup products so if that is interesting make sure that you subscribe right now okay now without further ado let's start with the review okay so let's start with the regular derma blend first as you can see it comes in this uh, plain black um, packaging like a tube and it says to be a buildable coverage I say it's a full coverage it says to have a long-lasting finish up to 16 hours stay tuned for that when I apply it I will give you my final opinion regarding that comfortable on the skin I completely agree with that 24 hour hydration I agree with that as well because it has a lot of emollient ingredients I will mention just a few um, on the screen right here so you can see what emollient ingredients it has suitable for all ages and skin types now I don't know if I can agree with that maybe I think this one is better for dry skin it has SPF 35 uh, but uh, excluding the shade 65 and 75 because they are actually uh, SPF 25 now I don't know what they did with that but it is what it is uh, here I'm applying it on the back of my hand and you will see it's really thin in consistency it's uh, spreading really easily and as you can see it's immediately giving me full coverage but at the same time the skin is looking really nice and um, I don't know like skin skin finish skin like finish it's not creating like a heavy layer and it's really really comfortable on the skin just so you know Okay, now let's talk about the 3D Correction Derma Blend. This one has similar claims. It's also uh, has a long hold finish up to 16 hours. Although this one has SPF 25, a lower SPF. And this one is meant for uh, oily skin and acne prone skin. And it says to help conceal the spots and breakouts of acne. So I 100% agree with that. I think this will cover anything that you have on your face. It even has a better coverage in, than some of the concealers that I own. So this one is um, really good. I really recommend it for uh, acne prone skin. And besides that, in the ingredients, uh, they included salicylic acid, which is exfoliator. And uh, salicylic acid is usually used in cleansers for oily and acne prone skin when I apply it on the back of my hand as you can see it's a lot thicker than the regular derma blend and it does not spread that easily and you will need maybe a little bit of time to spread it around to blend it and I recommend using a beauty sponge because it gives you the most natural finish when you use a beauty sponge and as you can see it leaves a really matte finish although I think think maybe it can be cakey if you apply it only with a brush so that's why I recommend using a beauty blender to get that really nice natural uh, finish but still matte so that's all you need to know now let's get to application part okay so on the left side of my face I'm going to apply the regular derm derma blend and I usually apply with a brush and then I um, blend it out with the beauty blender and as you can see yeah, I'm using the same beauty blender, but don't worry, I will. Wa I was washing it in between applications. As you can see, uh, Derma Blend side, the regular Derma Blend gives a really natural, dewy, radiant finish, skin line finish, skin like finish, and it really feels like you have nothing on your skin. But then again, you have full coverage, so I, I really love this foundation for dry skin. Okay, then we have Derma Blend 3D Correction on the other side color looks a little bit darker but this is actually the same shade as the regular derma blend 25 nude i use the same shade looks a little bit darker but i, I don't know why is that maybe because of the te different texture i also use the beauty blender and uh when you use this guy with a beauty blender it actually beauty blender actually makes it look good even on the dry skin just so you know um so yeah there you have it
This is the dermal blend side, really dewy, radiant. And then there's the 3D correction side, a little bit darker, as I said. Now, please don't mind my neck. I didn't apply neither of these two foundations to my neck because I removed it after filming. Um, here's a close-up. As you can see, there's not much of a difference in the close-up. They pretty much look, um, yeah, pretty much look similar, except that the 3D correction side is really matte. Okay, now stay tuned for my final opinion. Okay, so now for my final opinion, I will give you the pros and cons for both of the foundations and let's start with the regular Derma Blend. Okay, so the pros would be that uh, it's a full coverage foundation. It leaves an amazing dewy, uh, glowy finish, skin-like finish, um, so, which is amazing and I love that for dry skin. Those would be the pros. Uh, the cons would be that it's definitely not as long lasting as it says. It says it lasts up to uh, 16 hours. I I wouldn't agree with that because whenever I was wearing it after a couple of hours it would start looking really oily so you do need to set it and you do need to uh, fix it during the day when it starts looking crazy I, I would recommend you to carry a compact powder in your purse so you can just set the areas that will start looking uh, crazy after a while so that's the only issue that I had with this foundation that it's not that long lasting but it does look amazing on the skin and I love dewy radiant foundations on my skin i love them because my skin is dry another thing that i would say because it is stated on the website that this foundation is meant for all skin types i wouldn't say so i would say dry if you're dry go for it if you're normal you're going to look crazy after a couple of hours but overall i think it has more pros and cons but just make sure that you are if you're buying it make sure that your skin is dry if it's normal I wouldn't say so. Um, it's your responsibility if you buy it. Okay, now let's talk about the 3D correction, um, Derma Blend 3D correction. So this uh, foundation, I would recommend this foundation for somebody who has uh, acne prone skin, uh, acne scarring, really oily, uh, stuff like that. Because as you can see right now, it's not looking bad on me either. But trust me, a long term use of this foundation wouldn't do anything good for my skin because it has salicylic acid and my skin is already dry. So if you have dry skin, stay away from this foundation. If you're oily, acne prone, have acne scarring then go for it this foundation will cover everything on your face and it will even treat your acne because it has salicylic acid another uh, thing that i would like to mention is that you shouldn't be applying this foundation on the eye area because salicylic acid shouldn't be applied uh, in that area so uh, regular dermal blend you can cover uh, dark circles and everything you can apply it there but if the foundation has salicylic acid make sure that you avoid the eye area okay so those, those would be the pros for uh, 3d correction cons i would say the only con that I can think of is that if you apply a lot it will start looking cakey but as you can see on my skin it's looking pretty decent even though my skin is dry because I didn't apply a lot so just don't apply a lot and it will look amazing and pretty much it won't have any uh, cons if you have oily skin and yeah that would be it okay so there you have it that would be my opinion hopefully this was uh, helpful and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe of course because it helps me with uh, growing my channel and in making my videos even better so yeah thank you so much for watching one more time and I will see you in the next video oh and by the way check out these previous videos right here and I will see you next time bye